This is a painting by William McGregor Paxton, who is a member of the so-called Boston Museum School of Painters. He taught there for a while um, in the early decades of the, uh, the 20th century. And like the other members of the Boston Museum School, um, they were fascinated with these interiors that have everything to do with sort of the rediscovery of the Dutch um, painter, uh, 17th century painter um, Jan Vermeer. And it's usually um, figures, usually beautiful women in interiors, um, sort of lost in reverie. And this work called Rose in Blue uh, was what a painting Paxton had done in 1913. Just at the moment, he decided he needed to stop teaching and devote himself 100% to painting. And what's wonderful about this is that it is really one of the most impressionistic paintings that Paxton ever did. Um, Paxton's later work becomes rather hard. It was in this kind of magical moment of like 1913 to about 1918 that Paxton really was at the height of his powers. It was exhibited um, in 1914, the next year, at the Pennsylvania Academy, and it was acquired almost immediately upon the close of that exhibition. So you could see that with this particular image, um, the minute it's exhibited, it's going to get a new collector. It's just a gorgeous thing where the woman is really sort of in this smoky room. There's, you can see up here there's a little sensor, a sort of oriental sensor, and she's standing before a mirror, and everything's slightly out of focus. And that's one of the things that um, the Boston painters picked up from Vermeer, which is that um, the way that the eye sees, it doesn't see everything in focus, you know, from front to back, middle, background. Um, there are certain things that are sort of selectively in focus and then other things go sharply out of focus. And it's something that they experimented with and it's almost a hallmark of their style.